Part 107 prohibits operation of an SUAS at night, which is defined as the time between the end of evening civil twilight and the beginning of morning civil twilight. In the continental US, evening civil twilight is that period of sunset until 30 minutes after sunset. And morning civil twilight is defined as that period of 30 minutes prior to sunrise until sunrise. In Alaska, the definition of civil twilight differs, and that's described in the Air Almanac, which we're going to link to below this video. The Air Almanac provides tables which are used to determine sunrise and sunset at various latitudes. So there is an official sunrise and sunset time attached to the definition of civil twilight. If you're flying in that 30 minute civil twilight period, your aircraft must be equipped with special anti-collision lights that are capable of being visible for at least three miles in all directions. So let's take a pause and make sure we understand this. The part 107 rules state that you can only fly during the day and daylight is defined from 30 minutes before official sunrise to 30 minutes after official sunset. And if you're flying during that 30 minute civil twilight period, at morning or at night, you need to have lights that are visible for at least three miles. I often get asked what kind of lights satisfy this requirement. Uh, below this video, I've linked to a few of the light systems that our students have purchased, and I'll do my best to keep this list up to date as I learn about new options.